Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about why you do not want to do repairs at a mall kiosk. So I bought a uh, phone case kiosk in the mall uh, over the summer and I was really resistant to doing repairs because I never want to have anyone doing repairs in the mall. It's very hectic, especially this time of year when it's busy. Uh, there's not a lot of light and if you don't have a dedicated repair kiosk, it, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. So my guy did this Galaxy Mega and uh, you know things go wrong sometimes he uh, was taking out the power button flex which is this piece right here and he uh, has a little micro tear in it once he reassembled it the thing would not power on so at a normal uh, so you can see it here see that little tiny tear we'll point it out to you um, right there now the problem is that that doesn't just cross over to one of the contact points it actually uh, goes over the top of the second contact point cable and it's touching it and it's making a short so it's not a simple resolder job like I was hoping it would be you know if you're in a real repair shop you just take out your soldering iron slap a little solder on it put it back together you're good to go customer doesn't even know anything went wrong uh, problem is at a kiosk you can't have a soldering iron you can't have a microscope you can't be a real repair center um, you can be a monkey with a screwdriver who screws screws in and out of a small electronic device so I had to take this back to my shop and nobody has parts for a galaxy mega in stock because it's like a six-year-old phone uh, and so it ended up what ended up happening is I had to take a power button out of a note 5 and make some modifications to it with some copper wiring um, solder it to the contact points and get it to fit into this phone which worked it was way too much effort um, so you know my advice is to leave these repairs to an actual shop that has the right tools um, not just a case kiosk I probably won't be doing or having my guys do repairs like this in the kiosk anymore there's not a lot of light uh, it's kind of difficult to do and uh, it's one of the busiest malls in the country so um, Needless to say, the customer should have had the phone back in 20 minutes or 15 minutes. Instead, it took an extra day because I had to drive it all the way over to my other shop to fix it up and to drive it back. And then, of course, I asked to work with his schedule for pickups and drop-offs. So um, he's without his phone or his wife is for an extra day. Um, yeah, just don't do these repairs in the kiosk. That's all. Have a great day.